the 12th man will definitely be ready here in Seattle for this matchup between the Philadelphia Eagles and the Seattle Seahawks. You know, when you get a matchup at running back, like the one we have here today, you can just look down on the field from the booth, and you can see that breakaway speed and power with your own eyes, and there is a difference out there. Yeah, I think uh, I, I was always, always heard from Bill Walsh. I read it in his book, Trust Your Eyes. So you're right. We look down the field today, and as this thing goes along, you can tell we have two stars at running back, and then just give them a little bit of hope, and they can make it happen. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. First and ten will go ground. They break through, tackle him behind the line. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. Coming up, eyeing that left side. Casey's there to catch the ball that had a lot of heat on it. Well, I guess the best thing to say there, Jim, is they completed a pass, but it still did not get a first down. The Eagles will approach this play from out of the pistol. McCoy. He'll be brought down, but not before picking up the first down. When a coach can have a run, it picks up those kind of yards. It gives them confidence, and they will show more and more patience with the running game. So the defense, they better dig in here. They're able to move the chains after that last run. He'll fire it out to the left. What a hit, and the ball falls incomplete. You might as well catch it because you're going to take the big hit no matter what. That time, the receiver lets the ball go because he was worried about the defender making the hit. LaShawn McCoy is in the backfield. Second and ten. McCoy is going to secure the handoff. And they advance the ball onto the other side of the field. Good job by the defensive player squaring up that running back and just putting his big butt right into the ground. Third down here. Offense trying to pick up the first. And he's going to be tackled. And that's going to bring us to fourth down. You're near midfield. It's fourth down. What do you do? I got the answer right here. You punt it. Play field position. Make the other offense drive the length of the field to score. He's scrambling now. The Eagles get a first down. I like this play call this time. They go for it on fourth and short, and they call the right play, and they pick up the first down. Now a first down. Looking for an open receiver on the right. There is a flag down. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. Well, Jim, I know his family's watching, so we'll give all the information we can as soon as we get it. But it looks like it could be a major injury, and I just, well, I hope the best. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Now first and ten. Challenging the defenders to the right side, bringing the play to an end. Good job by the quarterback completing that pass against the zone defense. Look for the open space when you throw against zones. That's what he did, and he got the nice completion. Here's the first snap after the big play. Looking for a receiver on the left side here. This drive now about to reach the 10th play of the series. Second and goal from the two-yard line. What a catch. Touchdown. 
Good job that time by the offense, scoring that touchdown and putting him ahead. And when you get ahead in a football game, the National Football League, it makes you relax and you play better. There's a yellow marker down on the field. Count it. Offside. Defense. They'll decline the penalty the and let the play decline. stand. The Seahawks are in shape now to return the kick. He thinks twice about returning this one and signals. Fair catch. Tate's going to get set in the slot for this snap. To the ground here. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. There's Pete Carroll on the sideline for the Seahawks, and a year ago he got things going up there in Seattle, didn't he? He does. You know, he does it a different way, doesn't he? It's always about enthusiasm. And Pete Carroll has a great saying. Uh, if you're not excited about today's practice, then fake it. I want fake enthusiasm. And you laugh about that, and you go, wow, that's so college, high school stuff. But what it does is it teaches you to come out and have enthusiasm for your job day in and day out. And that's what you saw when you watched the Seattle Seahawks play. He had to make a tough decision at the beginning of last year, deciding to go with the rookie quarterback out of the third round, Russell Wilson, instead of the big free agent signee and Matt Flynn. Oh, yeah. I was one of those guys second-guessing Pete Carroll last year. That's something we all do pretty well, but uh, he's there every day at practice. He saw it on the practice field. He saw it in preseason games, even in the locker room, and he made the right pick, no doubt about it, in Russell Wilson. He's into the open. And now they'll be on the other side of the 50 after this play. That's a good play that time by the offensive coordinator. Fourth down try. He makes the right call, and they pick up the first down. This play set up by the long gainer. Down the field. But it's incomplete. Well, for some reason, this quarterback likes to keep trying to go deep down the field against this cover, too. That's not the spot you want to go. You want to look underneath or right down the middle. Second down now. Wilson from the shotgun. Launching it deep. Incomplete as that ball sails out of bounds. Let's see what they do on this third down situation. In trouble now. Looking to the right side and throwing. The tackle is made short of the first, and that'll bring up fourth down. Lynch is lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Handoff, middle, good piece of tackling. I think the coach took a little risk that time going forward on fourth and short. Fourth and short in the NFL has turned into one tough proposition, but a good job that time getting it. Throws to the right. Incomplete. Second down here. He's looking to the right. That ball is going the other way. The tackle was made. Nice job of the defense that time. In position, they read the quarterback's eyes, and it led to an interception. First down here. The defense gets the sack. You talk about a blitz on the defensive side, it's all about timing. Disguise it to the last second, 
and time up the snap of the football. They did it that time, and they get the sack on the QB. The throw to the left. The pass is intercepted. That was not the play right there. Anytime you're backed up on the offensive side, the quarterback's got to be extremely careful because if you turn it over, you're just giving points to your opponent. That time, a bad decision by the quarterback, and he throws an easy interception for the defense. The Seahawks come out in the pistol. First down and 10. They're setting up screen. Going to be a tackle for a loss. So many things you could do on first down, and what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. The Seahawks lined up in the pistol. Makes the grab and keeps the ball moving down the field. That's a first down catch. How about that? We just saw the fly route straight down the field by the wide receiver. Long throw by the quarterback and a nice completion. The Seahawks will try to take advantage of that big play at the end of the first quarter as we now get the second quarter started. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. Lynch is lined up as the single back. Second and six. Brings it into his body. Always a good job to pick up some yards when you're in the red zone. Nice throw by the quarterback, and he gets the completion. They've got a first down now after that catch. Power surge. Touchdown. That was just an awful job, wasn't it, by the defense? I mean, it's first and goal. Well, you know it's going to be a run, or I think you should be playing run. The defense not ready. They get overpowered, awesome. and they give up the defense. running touchdown. What well, looks like the defender was that caught in the neutral defined. zone, Phil. Yeah, he was. Good job by the quarterback. You know, he made that little voice inflection. That'll get him every time. The quarterbacks are a little sneaky, man. Huh? Deshaun Jackson with a chance here on the kickoff. Bites off the hit. First down on the way. Browns handed the football. A tackle behind the line. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. That leads us to second down. Pick in shotgun formation. Third down on the way. will take it from the gun. Long ball to Deshaun Jackson. And he's almost intercepted. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. The punt team is in place and ready to perform. going to try and return this punt. Gain of eight.
Lynch is lined up in a single back formation. First and ten. Looking for an open receiver on the right. The Seahawks now on his way. The 10, all the way home and all alone. Touchdown. Terrible job by the defense. Lack of hustle, bad tackling, you name it. They allowed the short throw and catch to go all the way down the field for a score. up now for the two. The give to the... And so they convert it here on the two-point drive. Steven Hauschka ready for the kickoff. Deshaun Jackson with a chance here on the kickoff. This is a big time return. The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Picks up five. Bryce Brown is in the backfield. Second down and five. Brown's going to take the handoff now. Terrible call that time by the coach. The defense was expecting run. They were up there. They were aggressive. Crowd on line of scrimmage. And you just, you just played right into their hands, and they got the tackle for the loss. Third and seven. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Forces a three and out. Does it take talent to do something like this? You've got to time the pass, where the football's going, where the receiver's going to catch it, and do the perfect timing. Hit that receiver, and that football comes flying out. Nice job that time. That incomplete pass. Michael Vick will be under center. That's a failed conversion, but you might as well look at it like a turnover. It's going back the other way. Terrible game management that time by the coach. It's three downs, it's fourth down. What should you do? Well, I think you should punt it. He goes for it and puts his defense in a tough position. Wide receivers are bunched up. First and ten, Lynch, they deck him in the backfield. Now the play is there to be made, but the offensive player doesn't get it done. Bad job on first down. Looking to the right side and throwing. Rocks him with that hit, and the ball's going to fall incomplete. Good anticipation that time by the defender. He gets to the receiver just as the football's arriving, and he makes a beautiful hit to knock the football loose. Third down now. Wilson's back in shotgun formation. Running away from the pressure. And complete. He's going to be tackled right around the 24-yard line. Well, there's nothing the defense can do. When you talk about a receiver like these guys out there now, and, and this one in particular, the double coverage, they're still able to go in between the defenders, rise up, and make the catch. Touchdown! You got to have good vision to be a good running back in the NFL, and that vision means following the right guys. The running back does it, leads to a touchdown run. And the flag is down. He made it. Defense. Defense was trying to guess the snap count, and it cost them there. Pass the point after and oh, so, put down a touchdown and a two-point conversion on that occasion. 
Yeah, good job by the offense. They executed the play perfectly, and they got in the end zone, like you said, and got that two points. The onside kick is turned away, and the receiving team has it. First down here. Throws to the right. There's a flag out. That ball is picked off. Roughing the passer call gives the offense 15 yards and a new set of downs. Yeah, and it was a, it was a terrible roughing the passer that time. He absolutely took two steps before he hit the quarterback. You can see when he lets the ball go. When you see him let it go, go up. First and ten. They're going to get him here for a sack. This defense, they are definitely not faint of heart, are they, Jim? They will bring the pressure. Good blitz that time, and they take the quarterback down. Second down, 14. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Oh, the, we've got an injured player on the field. That's a good job. He's able to get up and get off the field, and my guess is he's going to be okay. A little bit of a scare there, no doubt about it. That makes everybody know. Eagles in the end zone. Well, we're talking about some of the fastest humans on earth, and we take into account you can't touch them or breathe on them. That's how they're able to get open and make so many catches. Lining up now for the two-point conversion. Put an additional two points on the board as they convert. They want the football back as they line up now in an onside kick formation. up the bumper and now he's on the move and he's brought to the ground special teams in this league especially when you're talking about kicking teams the kickoff team this time they hustle they get down there they make the big hit and it causes a fumble and they recover first and ten he'll fire it out to the left incomplete just stick the football on him when you see a receiver run around like this they're going to the corner drive it throw it on a line drive so that way there can't be a mistake. Two-minute warning looms, and this may be the last play before it hits. Incomplete, almost intercepted. I think this is one of the easier throws in the NFL. Don't make the mistake throwing it up the field. Throw it across the field so the receiver can run to it. That time the quarterback leads the receiver way too far on the post route. Third and ten. Throwing now to his left. The Eagles get a first down. Here comes the training staff as we've got a player down on the field. By the looks of that, you can tell it looks like a major injury. And uh, it's just it's a tough sport, a lot of big hits, and uh, I hope he's gonna be okay. He's in for the score. There's no doubt about it. When you score like that to tie up the game, it shifts momentum. And it's all up now to the offense of the other team to get back out there and get the momentum back on their side. Driving extra point is good. They're lining up for the onside kick. They want to get the ball back. Flag is down. They have the ball back and the play's continuing. That ball, again, not traveling 10 yards. And what are they thinking over there on the sideline? Well, they're thinking this is why everybody hates kickers. Get the ball down there 10 yards. My gosh, kick it 15 yards. We'll still recover it. Just a, just a terrible mistake. First down, offense ready for the snap. And he's taken down. Got to give the defense a lot of credit here. You want to stop the 
Yeah. Offense and scoring here with under two minutes to go in the first half. Good pressure on the quarterback, and they take him down behind the line of scrimmage. They bring him down one more time. The offensive coordinator's just got to make some adjustments here. They can't stop the defensive line from sacking the quarterback, so either keep the tight end in or keep the halfback in to help block for the QB. He'll throw it over the middle. An incompletion right there, but it really should have been an interception. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Scrambling out of the pocket, trying to work that left side. Russell Wilson connects with goals and takes. Fourth and long, you got so little chance of having success in a situation like this. I only have one question. Why did you go for it? They'll take that gift from the defense and line up now with a new set of downs. Brown's got it on the handoff, and he's tackled at the 32-yard line. The defensive end has the outside runs. That's his assignment, and he did it well. Takes on the tackle, beats his rear end up pretty good, and makes a tackle on the running back. Second down and 11. Escaping the pressure, looks to his left. Incomplete. Nice job by the defensive backs. The quarterback buys the extra time. He gets outside of the pocket, but look at him. They stay right with the pass receivers. Nobody gets open. Quarterback has to throw it away. It's third down coming up. Working that left side. The Eagles now move the chains. Quarterbacks love play action passes because the defense, sometimes they're expecting run. You fake it, easy completion down the field. Bryce Brown is in the backfield. The defense gets a sack. Ah, not a good job by the quarterback that time. Inside of two minutes in the first half, you got to get rid of the football. If nobody's open, just throw it away. That time, he loses yards by taking the sack. Brown's taking the handoff. They knock him down behind the line of scrimmage. Well, Jim, they didn't pull the defense at all. Second down, you run the football, hoping to make it third and short. Then you lose yards, third longs. They're hard to get in the NFL. The defense looking for one more stop here on third down after that run. Very nearly intercepted. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. in the slot. Left side. It's away from the stack. No one's going to get him now. The 40, the 30, the 20, the 10. And it's for the touchdown. There is nothing like getting a long running play for a touchdown. When you do, you just feel like you're stealing something. It takes good blocks, but most importantly, it takes a talented running back to get it done and this team definitely has it. the Seahawks are set to return the kickoff here's the kick and this one's just a little squib kick here's the quick toss popped up the football nice tackle that does it here for the first half. Seahawks trail on this one. We're back here now in this one where the Eagles are bleeding by seven. The receiving team has the recovery. defensive backs out on the field for this one screen pass makes the reception nowhere else to go and he's out of bounds the defense thinks they have the guys to play man-to-man -man coverage down the field well they didn't that time the receiver made a nice little move gets open and a good throw by the quarterback hey, 
Millers lined up outside on the right. Second and seven. Looking for an open receiver on the right. They pick up the first down with that reception. When you pick up first downs against the defense, they will get tired. That time, nice job by the offense getting the first down, even though they're losing here in the game. Marshawn Lynch takes the football, and that's a big-time tackle that keeps them three yards short of the first down marker. Running formation here. Offense in the full house set. Second and four. Incomplete. Anytime your receiver running any route to the inside of the NFL, they're worried about getting hit. Don't lead them too far in a slant route. Just throw it right at them. Offense lines up here. Trying to clamp down here on third and four. The Seahawks get a first down. Jim, when you get inside the other team's red zone, inside the 20-yard line, and you're down some points, you're thinking touchdown in these situations. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. Challenging the defense. Makes the catch in the end zone. Touchdown. Well, here we are. It's a tie game now. We'll see how the teams react to it. Will it be positive or negative? The Seahawks now lined up for the extra point. Makes the PAT. The Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. And he's met head on right there at the 20. Split backfield here. First and ten. Trying to get it outside before the defense is set. A foot race to the end zone. He's at the 50. And they tackle him down at the 37-yard line. That's a nice job blocking by the offensive line and a really good job by the running back. Seeing the proper hole, gets up in there and picks up big yards. First and ten. Middle. They've got him down there. Browns shifted from running back to a receiver in the slot. Looking to the right side and throwing. It's incomplete. The defender had it for a moment, but could not pick it off cleanly. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. A game breaker. Touchdown. How about the blocking up front? Let's the running back get in the secondary, and he is so quick and elusive, he avoids the tackles and takes it all the way for the touchdown. Offside. Players from both sides made an appeal, but the referees say it's on the defense. Well, this works out about 40% of the time if you look back on history, and they'll go for that two-point conversion. turns into an eight-point trip, the touchdown and the two. This offense and the head coach and the offensive coordinator, they're all aggressive. So, hey, well, it's not good enough just to get a touchdown. They want to get that extra point or two points. Nice job that time. He will run this one back. This game just got a whole lot more interesting. You talking about lifting a team up when you get a kick return for a touchdown, it excites everybody, makes the crowd go crazy, but it gives your team such momentum and your chances of winning, they go through the roof when you get a kickoff return for a touchdown. Mm -hmm. They'll get set looking to convert on this two-point try. The 
gets away from the pressure. So from two yards out, they get it across and secure two extra points. Seahawks ready here for the kickoff. Waves his arm, and he's going to make a fair catch. Setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. First and ten. Eyeing that left side. He's going to the left. That brings the play to an end. You've got to keep your offensive lineman aggressive, so you have to run the football every once in a while. That run, even though it was a short game, it served a purpose. Browns out in the slot. Second and eight. Running it like it's an option play. Only a yard. Nice job that time by the defense. They were ready for the run. Nowhere for the running back to go. And they stop him for a short game. Following the run, it's now third and seven. Thought about it, still has it. Airing it out. Oh, and almost picked off that time. Outstanding coverage on the deep throw, forcing the incompletion. That's why he's one of the best in the league. He's aggressive, he can take away short passes, but also has the speed and the ability to get back there and knock down those deep ones too. Michael Vick backed off the line, shotgun formation. Running back in motion here. Vick's got it in the gun. And they'll turn it over on downs. The defense does a fantastic job holding strong. Baldwin's lined up now as a slot receiver. Wilson still got the football after the play fake. This is what you call throwing the wide receiver open against man-to-man -man coverage. Throw it to the open space. Let the receiver outrun the defensive back. Nice completion. Second down at 10. Here's the handoff to Marshawn Lynch. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight film, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. Lined up in the pistol formation. Wilson's going to take it from the gun. Russell Wilson hits Zach Miller with that throw. When we were at practice on Friday, Jim, this team was working on red zone offense all the time. Well, here they are. It's a tie game. We'll see if all that practice pays off. First and goal. Throws to the right. Runs out of bounds. They keep fighting for every inch, every yard, as they move closer and closer to the end zone. Well, this offense, they fit perfectly with the head coach. He's a tough guy. He's a grinder. And this offense, what a job here right now. They are grinding this football, like you said, right down the field. They've got him behind the line of scrimmage. Well, when you have a tie game and you're down in the red zone, you can do whatever you want. You can fool him with a run here, or you can take a chance and throw the football in the end zone to get a score. Wilson's got the football. Touchdown, Seahawks. Good job on that touchdown. That puts them ahead, and it's always, of course, better to be ahead than behind. And the extra point is good. Steven Hauska ready for the kickoff. Someone's been injured out there. Hold on a minute. Hard to tell exactly what the injury is, Jim, but I can just tell it's the lower part of the body, and uh, 
You know, uh, that was a tough hit. You know, I, just, I hope he's able to come back in the game later today. Going to lose yards here. Got to give the defense some credit. On first down, there's so many things the offense can do. They were ready for that play, and they stopped it. Second and ten. Brown's going to secure the handoff. He's going to be swallowed up behind the line. The defense has really done a good job here in this drive. They got this offense in a third and long situation. Let's see if they can convert it. Bryce Brown is in the backfield. Third and a long way to go. Oh, almost caught. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third and long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. Let's go now to Danielle Bellini, who has the injury update. Guys, I just spoke with an Eagles official. The injury appears to be minor, so the trainers are just looking him over one last time, and then he'll get back on the field. Michael Vick will be under center. Looking to the right here on this throw. They failed to convert, and now a change of possession. What in the world were they thinking about on that occasion, going for it on fourth down? Let's just don't be shocked by this decision, Jim. We see it all the time. He keeps making really dumb decisions like this, and it's probably going to cost him the game. Quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. He's in the end zone. Touchdown. Well, there's an old saying in the NFL. You know how many points you need? And the answer is more. So no matter what the lead is, keep trying to score. Nice job of the offense getting that extra touchdown. And the point after is good. The Eagles are prepared to return the kickoff. a touchback and the ball will be spotted at the 20. They face first down. Looking for an open receiver on the right. The quarterback throws it on the mark. Touchdown. This game is tight. I give all the credit to the wide receiver here. What a route. Fooled the defender. He is wide open. Nice throw by the quarterback for the touchdown. Extra point was good. They line up here for the onside kick. They want that football back. Away from the ball, there's a flag down on the field. Baby touching offense. That onside kick did not travel 10 yards. They come to the line, and it's first down. Lynch is handed the football and picks up the first down. Good job by the offense picking up a first down there. They've been terrific all day long. They're winning the football game, and they are tiring this defense out. And that's going to do it for the third quarter. We'll be back to the beautiful skyline of Seattle for the start of the fourth after the break. First down here after the run. The final quarter underway now with this snap. Gains 11. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they can come up with a play that fools the defense. The 
quarterback coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Challenging the defenders to the right side. Picks up about eight. Getting get harder and harder in the NFL down. to score when you're this close to the goal line. So what will the offense do? They, they better be creative. That's all I know. This will be second down. Getting away from the pressure. It was right there, but he didn't bring it in. Nice job by the quarterback that time. Got outside the pocket, got away from the pressure, uh, gave himself time even though the pass is incomplete. Good job of avoiding the sack. The quarterback coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Lynch, and he breaks the plane. He breaks the plane. He's in for the touchdown. Well, the NFL, no lead is ever safe. So when you got the lead, you push it on in there, score another touchdown, and keep putting the pressure on your opponent. Seahawks ready here for the kickoff. This doesn't look good. We've got a player down, and he's in pain. Always hard to guess what the injury is, but we don't like to speculate, but I think it's pretty apparent. It's an upper body injury. We'll let you know when we find out. First down coming up. Looking long, and it's incomplete. Quarterback has a strong arm, but I am starting to question his touch. Need a little more touch on those deep passes. That time he overthrows the receiver. Split backfield here. Second and ten. Pitches it back. Picks up just a couple. Well, a short gain on the run that time by the offense. When you're running football team, listen, there's going to be a lot of ugly plays that don't work. You just got to keep running them. Third down and eight. Forces a three and out. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. Vick's going to take the snap from the shotgun. Makes the catch in the open field. Find a way to score. That's always the mantra with every team when they get in the red zone. If you punch it in here, even though you're down by more than seven, it'll give you confidence for the rest of the game. First and goal. And he'll try it left. Touchdown. That'll close the gap. you got to give the offensive line just a lot of credit. It's first and goal. They just line up and power the football in there. Nice run, but a great job by the O-line. There is a flag. The point after is good. Offside, defense. The penalty is the decline. That last play will hold up. The kicking team now getting set here for what looks like an onside kick. is turned away and the receiving team has it. Russell Wilson has it under center. First and ten, Marshawn Lynch takes the football. Good job of the defensive line standing in there and fighting and they hold the running back to a short game. The quarterback is coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. There's the tackle, but still, it's enough for the first down. Sometimes it's good protection by the offensive line, and sometimes it's just bad defense. They can't get to the quarterback, and that's another completion by him. Looking to scramble. When you make play calls like that, you're not going to win many football games. That was a terrible call here on first down. 
And here we have second down. On the run. Looking to the right side and throwing. No separation at all. Incomplete. Good job that time, but the quarterback gets out of the pocket fast and not able to make the throw for the completion, though. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. Throws to the right. Russell Wilson hits Zach Miller with that throw. Defensive coordinators love this situation, don't they? Third and long, they can do just about anything, and it's going to work, and they stop the offense that time. If they're going to have any chance at all here late in the fourth, the defense must make a big stop and give the ball back to the offense. The defense has got to be a little aggressive here. Your team is down. You've got to attack this offense. You don't want them to get in there and get another score. We're late in the fourth, and the offense is just trying to sit on the lead. They tackle him for a loss. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Wilson's shifted out wide to the left as a receiver. And D'Amico Ryans makes the tackle. That's a timeout by the D. Jim, the offensive coordinator, has done a terrific job so far here today. He's got his team winning. They're in the red zone. Let's see how clever he's going to be on this call. This will probably be the last play before the two-minute warning here in the final quarter. Third and nine. Touchdown, Seattle. Nowadays, so many kids, they grow up, they want to be wide receivers. I don't blame them. They're out there, they get to catch the football, they get to score touchdowns, they get to do dances, and you're not really allowed to hit them either. What a job. <laughs> Lining up now for the two. Trying to make something happen. They will not find a way into the end zone, so they'll only get six points out of the trip. They're lining up here for the onside kick. That kick came right at him, and it looks like the receiving team has recovered. It's first down as they head to the line. As they go ground here. So many things you can do on first down. And what do you come up? You come up with that play. That was just a bad play call. Avant lined up in the slot. It's a second and 13. Fix looking long. What an amazing catch. This is where games are won and lost. Once an offense gets down the red zone, even though they're down more than seven, can you find a way to punch it in there for the touchdown and not settle for a field goal? After the long game, let's see what they do here. He'll go left. And they knock him down just a yard away from the first. Well, if you're a good running back, when there's not a lot there, you find a way to make some extra yards. Here in the red zone, it's even more important. Up, touchdown, and drawing close. Oh, it's a nice late touchdown. You're still losing, but you have a chance. It's under two minutes to go. You never know what's going to happen. Make the other team keep playing. That's what you did. They're going to bypass the point after and try to pick up a two-point conversion. He's looking to the right. Got the touchdown. Got the two-point conversion. People love to go for two in this game, don't they? Well, they do. And you know what? Now, I guess you and I just can't sit here and blast the coach for a bad decision. When you pick up the two points, you can't complain about what they're trying to do. Coming through in the clutch with a two-point conversion to get within one score in this one. 
You know, it looks like it would be a simple call down there. You're close to the goal line. Just call anything you want, but hard to deceive the defense when you're this close. Nice job that time by the offense. Takes a receiver in the slot. The give. He'll go to the left. He's in the clear. Spins away from the hit. Pass the first down. Good job by the running back that time. Finding the open hole and picking up those extra yards. Wilson's a tight end, but now shifted into the backfield. Back to the ground, swallowed up behind the line of scrimmage. Good job by the defense. They stopped the offense that time on first down. Now the defense is in a good situation. The Seahawks are going to burn the first of their three timeouts right here. Sean Lynch is in the backfield. Second and ten. Looking across the middle, brings it in. Good job by the quarterback that time. Makes the decision. Throws it short. It does not get the first down. But I promise you, third and short is a lot easier than having third and long. Looking for an open receiver on the right. On the money. Jim, with that touchdown this late in the game, that ices it. And if you could sing, you could, uh, I'd let you say it's turn out the lights, but we know you can't sing. So the game is over. Lining up now for the two-point conversion. Escaping the pressure. Challenging the defenders to the right side. That's an interception. They want the football back as they line up now in an onside kick formation. The receiving team has the recovery. Brown's a running back, but he's in the slot for this play. First and ten. They're going to get him this time. When you're the quarterback and you see a blitz, you got to know you're going to drop back. Look at a receiver and let it go. No hesitation is allowed. He hesitates, and the defense gets the sack. Taking it up the middle. Here's the quick toss. Ball comes out, and the defense has it. The defense comes up with the big play, the hit, and the recovery of the football. Yeah, they sure did. They got so much speed on the defensive side, and that speed, when you think about it, it gets more people around the football. It helps you deliver the hit even harder, and that's why they got the turnover. Great job. The offense was able to recover that fumble, and now it's third and two. Vic in shotgun formation. Down the field. And the pass is intercepted. It's going the other way, and this game is all but over. That interception is strictly on the quarterback. When you make bad decisions, I don't care how good you can throw the football. The results, usually it's going to turn into an interception. A ton of defensive backs out here for this play. Heaving it down the field. What a catch down the middle of the field. There's just so few quarterbacks who know how to throw it high and far anymore. Nice job that time by the quarterback. That throw was right on the money. This game is about to finish. First and ten. Going for the home run. And it falls incomplete. That's it. This game is over. You've often talked about 